This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Rouser versus Middleton. You all have been dating almost a year. Yeah. Um, and you worked together at one time, but you are now bringing your girlfriend to this court because you believe she's cheating. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. I know for a fact that she's cheating, so... Tell me the warning signs that you've seen that indicate she's yeah. cheating. I mean, I'm telling you, like, I know she's cheating on me. Like, I mean, things are not consistent anymore. She's not doing the things that she used to do. Staying out late at night, not answering the phone. It's like, okay, well, where are you at? You know, if any other time, if we go home together, why are you not, you know, answering the phone when I call you? Okay, but we're both young, working. We're there not we married. I don't understand why I have to have a timestamp when I'm coming and going. I don't understand why that's become the basis of why you feel like I'm cheating on you. I mean, you're right, but don't do that in the beginning and then stop doing that. That doesn't make any sense. It's not even a year. That okay, because sense. you've been the same and person from day one, right? Well, Mr. Rouser, okay. staying out late, not answering the phone. Yeah. What else is she doing to make you think she's cheating? I found out that she's spending time with other people. You know, um, we worked in the same place, and it's this new guy that came to, you know, came to our job and stuff, and all of a sudden, you taking breaks with him, and you hanging out with him, going out to eat, you going to the same places that we go out to eat. Don't show nobody something that I showed you. Okay, like, don't, 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 don't do that. Like, that, that's, that's corny. Like, don't show nobody that. And then, I'm on break, I go downstairs, and y'all sitting in the car, ha ha, kiki in. Like, what is y'all talking about in the okay, car? Well, so you got all these warning signs that are just making you think that she's cheating on you. Yeah. I love Jay very much. But you want more consistency from me and more commitment from me, then we need to talk about a more serious relationship. We've always had other friends, and I've never pressed you about who you hang out with and what you do, especially when we work together. I get to see you flirting with girls coming in, requesting songs in your DJ booth and all that. That's not necessary, but I never give you a hard time about that. And what I'm hearing is this. You are saying, we're not married. I should have friends. But I think the difference is you seem to have zoned in on one person and you're spending what he believes is his time with that person. Now, I'm not saying you are. I'm just telling you what I heard. Right, you hear his insecurity. Okay, Correct. well, I didn't say that. All so... I heard was... And then what I hear you saying to him is, okay, if you want to take it to the next level, why aren't we moving there? I, I don't hear him saying anything about you know, like, good things. I know I've been a great girlfriend to you, but you just stress on the things that, that are, like, red flags or she's out with somebody else, so my girl's cheating on me. But well, Miss right. Middleton, Mr. Rouser, what are the good things? How was it when you first met? We do have good times. I mean, our chemistry is great. Like, we go out, we try different restaurants together. You know, we go and find But they're his things. restaurants if we go together, so... But Come on, Miss Middleton. That's that's the, that's oh, wait, 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 no, wait, wait, wait. Now, wait. You been, now you're being picky, Miss Middleton. He's taking you out to restaurants <laughs> they're his restaurants. Petty He's falling. taking you out. And y'all can't even agree on the good times. There were good times, weren't there? Yes. Okay, so you admit there were good times. And she now, smiled, so it's yeah, true. I know the good times. What was it about him that made you say, okay, I'm interested? He kind of cute or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Jay is a very nice person. And <laughs> our, our relationship was so organic. It was just pure court, you know, courting. And you don't get that anymore. You know, he would come to the bar, how are you today? You know, have you had lunch? Just cute little conversation. It would be on his way. So you letting me just kind of wonder more. And I, I like that a lot, you know? So he wasn't just trying to get your name, get your number, put you to bed. Not, not at all. Nah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I see him hanging out with the guys at work, and I know what y'all talk about, but he never came to me with that. So then that made him stand apart from everyone else, you know? Okay. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Mr. Rouser. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was raised kind of right. He I used raised. to be... <laughs> he used to be a very good boyfriend. So you took your time, did it right. Yes, ma'am. When things got started in the beginning, right? You know how that is. I don't know how y'all were. Y'all still kind of close, right? <laughs> Obviously. So you know what that's like, just being hip to hip all the time. Okay, well... No, I... we don't know anything <laughs> about yeah, that. We, 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 we've, only, we've only worked together for the last 28 years. Right. <laughs> but Taylor wants to hang out with other people. Let me miss you a little bit. Let me and go I get in. that. Let me so remind myself just say of why that. you're my boyfriend, why that. I'm not with just him. Just say that. Why do it's I have to say that when just I Just say that. All you... Give me an option. Say, be listen, more babe, today I need to be... Okay, all right. All right. Hey. We can agree that at one point it was good, and then at some point you start having concerns. Yeah. Why do you think that Miss Middleton is cheating? It's like one in particular time, like July 4th weekend. That's a big weekend for me. So 
I had, I'm usually at her house, so I left my stuff at her house, right? I Your called DJ her. DJ equipment? Yes, my DJ equipment. Okay. So I called her that morning about 11 o'clock, like, hey, what you doing? She's like, I'm going to brunch with my girls. Cool, that's fine. You know, enjoy your day. What time you be back? Oh, I'll be back at about 5 o'clock. All right, that's ample time for me to do what I got to do, right? So I get to her house about 6.15. Where is Taylor? She pull up about 6.45, right? She get out of the car looking crazy. I mean, as you see, her hair is well put together. That is not how her hair was when she when she pulled up on me. Her shirt all the way down here and stuff, and she rushing, like, trying to hurry up and get out the car. I'm like, like, what's going on? What are you doing? Like, they must be serving more than mimosas at that uh, brunch. Like, who's, what's going who on? Who says stuff like that? Like, was, so, so, that's how you greet me at the door? So I walk in the house to get my stuff. She hands me the DJ set, but lets it go. So it hits the ground. And the whole thing about this is you think the reason she came home late and disheveled and got mad and broke your equipment is because she was out with somebody else. Yeah, because you shaking and grooving that with mimosas with your other friends or whoever else that you kicking exactly. it with. Exactly. Exactly. Is there any person in particular you believe she was cheating with at that time? I kind of believe it was a co-worker because it was just like, you know, you're always with this guy and then miraculously y'all decided to quit at the same time. How does a woman as, as put together as yourself just show up on 4th of July just disheveled and a mess? The turn up is real. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to say that. I live in Atlanta. Um, brunch comes around. Mimosas are flowing. They don't really stop. Music comes on after chicken and waffles are gone. Like, we're getting it in on a Sunday. I don't understand why you would feel like that's any different than any other time I've been to brunch. You know how I come back and I'll put it back together and make the next step. What's the issue? I cut my, my fun time short to come and accommodate you. Right, but but you, none of that is again, none of that is ever a concern. Just said so, that. But, but wait, like, Greet me with Ms. the Middleton, disheveled comment. Yeah, like, what on, do you mean? Miss Middleton, you said you cut your fun time short. The fun time is what I want to talk about. Who are you having fun time with? Were you friends, with another man? Friends. Friends. Were you with a co-worker? Co-worker was there. Were you cheated with friends? the co-worker? No. And no. I didn't break your DJ equipment. <laughs> Did you drop it? It wasn't a hand-to-hand -hand exchange. I was going to put it down on the couch near him. What happened after it touched the couch, I'm not gonna vouch for any of it. Well, look, let me, let me explain it this way. We have three sons, and sons are hard on the house. Ooh, and I we. can tell you the number of times we've come home and something's broken, and we ask, how did this get broken? Nobody ever dropped anything. Nobody ever broke anything. It's always, it fell. <laughs> it dropped. It got broke. So what you're saying is you I'm didn't break it, but it got broke. Your honor, that it was broken prior to me handing him his equipment. All right, Mr. Rouser, is this the only concern you have about the coworker? No, it's just I, I told you, um, I was on break one time. I went downstairs and she in the car in the car with the coworker, and I'm like, you know, the seat all laid back, y'all chilling and stuff like we're, that. We're on break. Wait, I'm hold on. Okay, hold on, That's hold on. Let's. <laughs> so you go on break. Yeah, where we all park our cars at, and right. I, you know. Happened to look to my right, and her and him in the car, you know, they got the seat all laid back, and he just, you know, I guess engaged in the conversation or whatever. So I'm like, this is the same coworker you telling me not to worry about. But well, you in the car with this man. Him. We have a whole entire break room. That's all I'm at. That's all Jay, what we do in the car on Ms. break Middleton? to work? So what are you talking <laughs> Ms. Middleton? Please. Yeah, well, but that's the thing. What we do on break in the all car. Right. They ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Nothing incriminating, is it? Miss Middleton. Is it? Miss Middleton, why are you sliding downstairs to the, the garage or I the mean, parking it's, lot? It's work. You're never really on break if you're still at work. You stepped outside. In outside car. into a car? Yeah, maybe I'm taking a phone call. Maybe in I want to feel this breeze come through the car real quick. I don't understand why. Ain't no breeze in no parking garage. <laughs> where is the breeze? Miss Middleton. Like, where is the breeze? Mr. Rouser, is there any other man that you're concerned about? It's like this Rico Suave looking type dude that work at this bar, right? Rico Suave. Yeah, he got this little, you know, his shirt all, you know, tight and stuff. You know, I'm small, so <laughs> he had work at this bar that we went to. I've never been to this bar before. Never been. So we sitting at the bar, you know. As soon as we sit down, he hand her a drink. He like, oh, I already know how you like it, right? So I'm looking at her like. But then they having casual conversation, and then about Seven to eight minutes go by. He's like, oh, yeah, I know you like your drinks every seven minutes. So I'm like, come on, man. Like that, you know, so now I'm asking questions like, you you been here before without me? She's like, oh, yeah, I come with the coworkers. Ain't never told me about it, you know. At least give me a heads up to let me know what's going on so I don't look stupid. Okay, so, Mr. You Rouser, I, I got to ask the question. She's a bartender. You're a bartender, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so she's bound to know other bartenders. Is there something wrong with her communicating with another bartender and knowing it? I'm just saying, she go out 
and somebody just hand her a drink, like, oh, I know how you like it every seven minutes. How are you gonna feel about that? Why does everything have to be an issue? Why does everything have to take you down to this so insecure you... moment? Why? He sat there and let him, you know, the bartender and I talk for minutes and then just, you know, recluse. He just went away from the conversation and then gonna call me, you know, a cheater because of it. You're just irritated. sitting there talking to him. I'm sitting there. I'm not getting no attention. But you sat back and you sipped your jack and just pouted the whole time. I'm not gonna right. entertain that. Has he ever talked to this bartender outside of your presence? Speaking of that night, I mean, we went out. I mean, we went uh, back to her house and stuff. So I'm laying in her lap. So I look to the right. Her phone right there is a bunch of hard, you know, th uh, hard eyes on the name and then it's an eggplant emoji, right? <laughs> We all know oh. it has been hashtag eggplant before, you know? So, <laughs> you know, she picked the phone up, phone right here. Like, mind you, I'm laying in her, I can't trying to be peaceful, trying to lay in her lap, the phone here. Who texts like this, yo? I don't know how to change Who? the setting on my phone and it's little. You don't even know how I knew, how I knew it was the guy. Because I, when she went to the bathroom, I swiped oh. and I called the, called the number. Was it Rico Suave it, or the co -worker? It was Rico Suave. Okay. You me? Yeah. And I ain't say nothing. He just like, hello, you know, hello. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why, Why is, is he, he sending, sending you an eggplant emoji? Okay, yeah. because so we're on this vegan destination, right? So we're meal prepping together, and it was just a joke. It was a joke. So out of all the, the, the vegetables it's like in the vegetable vegetables. community... <laughs> Thank you. They are the vegetables. It's all the vegetables. He's an eggplant. He sends you an eggplant emoji. I out of all of them. Mm. Mr. Okay. Riser, tell me what you're afraid of. Uh, it's just like, I'm afraid that I'm, I'm afraid I'm not enough for her. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not a big secret, but it's kind of a thing. Like, I am transgender, okay? okay? I used to be, I was born a woman, all right? Okay. So, it's a lot of things that I can't give to you that a biological or cisgender man can't give you. You know, I'm working on myself. So, certain things, it's like, I have to be, like, cautious of. Because if, if somebody else is, I feel like somebody else is doing that for you, what I can't provide for you, and I'd rather you say that to me so I know what I need to work on. You know what I mean? So you're afraid that because you were born a woman, you don't have all the male parts that she needs? It's not even about the male parts, because I'm doing what I'm doing. You feel me? But it's just like, you know, emotionally sometimes can be maybe a little bit too emotional, or I'm too clingy. And I get, I understand that. But say that. Don't just beat down my throat like, oh, what are you doing? Like, I don't like that. I don't... I don't all you gotta do is talk to me, baby. Why be redundant? Actually speak louder than words. And that's why we're, we're, we are now. Ms. Okay, Middleton, right. when did you find out that your boyfriend was born a woman? four or five months into our friendship. And he was very open with me. Um, and I've been very sensitive to that, just wanting to make sure that your needs are being met as well, because I know that's difficult. In doing so, it's causing me to be accused of being a cheater, and that's not fair. I give you way more understanding than what I'm getting. Way more understanding. I'm, I'm just marveling at this, because you all clearly love each other. And you have some fears about that which makes you different, and you're saying, I love you, and this is not it, and I'm not doing anything wrong. I have not cheated on him. I've been very loyal, very faithful to him. Your, your feelings are always hurt. My feelings are hurt, too. I'm tired of being accused of doing something I'm not doing. And that is why this court ordered Miss Middleton to take a polygraph test to get to the truth. <laughs> and we have those results. Ron, please escort uh, Mr. Shell into the courtroom, please. Yes, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Your Honor. How are, How are you? you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. So, you conducted a polygraph test of Miss Middleton. Is that correct? I did, Your Honor. Okay. Miss Middleton was asked, since the start of your relationship, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Mr. Rouser? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being... The lie detector determined she was being... deceptive. Yeah. See, I know, I know I'm not tripping, man. I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not, Ms. but it, Middleton. we good, Hold though. on, wait, wait. Miss Middleton, what happened? So, like, when we were first started hanging out, you know, still getting to know my friend here, you know, I had friends that didn't end immediately. Once we became committed, that was that, you know? But honestly, lately, since I've been getting all this pressure from him, I don't want to be around. And I've acquired other friends no, recently. Don't, don't when you say friends, do you mean lovers? 
It's a loose term, but yes. Mr. Rouser, what is the status of your relationship with Miss Middleton? That's dead, baby. That's dead. I don't feel that way. And it's I like, like I've been pushed. I feel like I've been pushed to the oh. edge of this relationship. And clearly, I, okay. I care. I'm let, here. Let, you just stated to the court that you found some other friends and that there's been some kind of physical activity with that person. That sounds like we're done. Yeah. Mr. Rouser, I've got a son exactly your age. He's called me broken-hearted. What about my broken heart? <laughs> well, how, how I don't understand heart, how this is just it's, so well. it's not about you right now. It's not about you right now. Because it never is. But Which Ms. is why, once you add all these accusations on, yeah. uh, on top of a lack of attention go. and other issues, then you get to this point. You know, I... This is not about us beating you up because of this. This is about us hopefully giving you tools to be successful, whether it's this relationship or a different one. We all mess up. We all make mistakes. You all have been together a long time. You've been dating for 27 years. Wow. And in your relationship early on, you each have cheated with somebody else, but you forgave each other and you came back together. But now it appears that the specter of cheating has raised its head again. <laughs> Ms. Rockmore, you've opened this case. Tell us what's going on. I think Robert is cheating again because of certain things he does, certain places he goes to where he can't account for. He has a work wife, which I never really heard of a work wife until I heard it from him. There's lack of sex. Our sex activity was wonderful. I mean, awesome. Now it's like, it's nothing now. And due to the fact that I think he's been messing around, I also make him use condoms. Yeah. All right. Oh. All right. So she, she said it's gone from awesome to nothing. Right. You know, that's the opposite of zero to 60, awesome to nothing. Yes, that's, that's a lot. Or not a lot, I guess, in this case. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Mr. Abraham, you know, well, she Your says Honor, you're cheating again. Well, Your Honor, um, it's, it's Kathy Rockmore's belief. Um, she took the cookie away. OK? <laughs> Um, she took I worked, the cookie she away. She took the cookie away. She took the cookie away, so yeah. that means she's closed uh, up shop. Yeah, she's, she's not... Closed shop. What? So uh, she's not... She... It's her fault y'all not having sex. Is that what you're you saying? Go. There you go. So you're not saying that's an excuse for you going somewhere else, is it? Uh, no. I, I don't have no reason to go anywhere else. Okay. Uh, I work every day. And my job is to provide for my family and support her, which I've been doing for 27 years. Okay. okay. For 27 years. All right. So, uh, but since we're talking about this work thing, what is a work wife? And that, why do you that, have one well, if you've got a girlfriend? Well, I tease her. I tease her about the work wife. I don't even know what a work wife is. Oh, I can tell you, I got me one of those. Oh, uh, okay. I got me a work wife. Okay. It's a good thing. Okay, they help I... you with things at the office and, you know, yeah. you talk to them about your problems and, you know, well, it's like, you know, what you would talk about and do with your wife at home, you do that same thing at work. No, I, I can't got do me that. One. Because now, if I do that, it's a problem. This is my work wife. Oh, I was about... You see, I'm like... Okay. If I, if I do that, it's a problem. Uh, okay. So you're not doing anything with anybody at work? Oh, no, That's no, what... I don't have no, no sex with him. Okay, Ms. Rogue, well, why do you think that he has a work wife? Because Google is my best friend. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. If I want to know anything, I'm going to Google it. And you can Google work wife and come up with his wife? I have it right here. Okay. Rob, would you please get that? No. clearly been using this all wrong. I was looking up restaurants. She looking up work wives, okay. you know. Google it? Really? All right. So okay, what are we looking what at? what is this? What you see now on the screen is where he's telling his work wife, baby, you know I wouldn't do you like that. Evidently, it was something that she wanted that he, she, he didn't say for her. Or... Well, where did you get this from? Well, Your Honor, when he, I find those like that is where he's texting but he's not texting, he's using the microphone and he's talking through the microphone. So everything he says through that microphone is going to come out in his voice activity. Oh! Uh, uh, hold up, hold up, y'all. Yeah. Hold on, Mr. Abraham. Did you know that she was listening to everything you said? No. You didn't know that. If she was, it wouldn't be that right there on that board. 
That's the honest God's truth. It are wouldn't you, be that. Are you saying you did not send this text to your work wife? No, I did not send no but text like that. But you're the like one that. who said you tease her I about having I tease her all the time, wife. but I don't... I wouldn't say nothing like that, Your Honor. I wouldn't <laughs> say nothing like that. And, Ms. Rockmore, didn't you say you never even heard of a work wife until... I never until... heard of a work wife until I was going through his Google and I was like, oh, he got a work wife. Oh, my and God. And calling her baby. <laughs> And saying she come first. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. This is it's crazy. a couple of other things that so, I've seen. What else have you found on Google? When you can't be trusted, you need to be tracked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean if you can't be trusted, you gotta be tracked. Yes. I I gotta I'm gonna have to write that down. <laughs> because you know, it, you know what it sounds like? You can even shorten it. If you can't trust them, track them. Yeah. That's what it All sounds right. like. Well, go, girl. You do you. So what have you tracked ah. down? Well, Your Honor, if you could put it on the screen, I can gladly s explain it to you. Why don't okay. you step to the monitor? August the 27th. All right. He went to the gas station. All right. Six minutes there. He left the gas station. He goes home, and then he goes back to the gas station. <laughs> when Robert goes... <laughs> to gas up. Robert makes sure he fills his tank up completely. That way he don't have to go again. The so it's gone twice in the same day. Yes, Your Honor, he and has. And like 11 minutes apart. Yes, Your Honor, he has. Now, my assumption is that, of that, he met the girl at the gas station oh to, maybe God. to put gas in her car. I don't know, to give her some change. I don't know. Change. Oh, now. Change. Not, not even bills, just some change. Just some change. Right. So this way. And then when he went back, he met her again. So you have a specific woman in mind from the Oh, yes, session? I have a specific woman in mind. Do you have anything else? Yes. Okay, May the 28th. Robert told me he was going to the car dealership to get the car fixed. I understood that. He was taking a long time, so I decided to call. He didn't answer. So I got my Google, <laughs> and I started tracking it. And this is where it led him to the hotel inn. He was only there 13 minutes. It only take a minute. <laughs> well, so, so, I, so, so Ms. Rockwell, what are, what are you saying? He's a minute man? When you're sneaking, you have to be quick. So please tell me that's the last place you tracked him to. No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> One night, I called him when he left. He didn't answer, so I called my best friend, Google. He stopped at the liquor store to get his little party pack. He left there, and he went to the hotel What's suite. What's a party what? pack? What's Condoms a and liquor. Oh. OK, so he went and got his party pack. He went and got his party pack. He drove 22 minutes to wherever it was he was going, and this is where he ended up at, the hotel suite. He was there for three hours and 58 minutes. Robert left the house at 7.45 that night. Robert didn't get home to 12.45. 50 that morning. Wow, that's, that's... And that was not the address he had you look up when, yes, for the... Yes, ma'am, it was the address he had me look up. But when I looked it up on Google, it came to another place which was next door to the hotel. Oh. So, so three hours and 58 minutes. Yes. Uh, that's more than a minute. Yeah, that's more than a minute. That's more than a minute. Yes. Okay, right. Ms. Rockmore, thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Bravo, 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 bravo. Right, so, Mr. Abraham, yeah. I got a whole list of questions. But I'm, I'm waiting to, on them, you You waiting on them, okay. I'm waiting on them. Why are you going to the gas station so much? Why is it taking you only four, five, six minutes? And why are you going to hotels? Okay, let me answer this first one first. I never went to no gas station no four times in two days. Well, your phone went to a <laughs> gas station four times. <laughs> Hey, let me Does your phone Can have land? Let me, let me ask you. This girl right here, no, my I'm wife asking, right I here. Think this is a legitimate I'm, I'm, question. I'm finna answer that question. This girl right here, she knows what to do with these phones. She takes my phone all the time. She takes my computer, she takes my phone, and she sits up all night. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Did she take your phone to the hotel and spend four hours there? At no, night? Uh, I was at the motel. I was at the... She, she Googled this address for me. I said, one of my co-workers is having a party. 
Okay, they invited me, which was that day. It was like they called me. Hey, you're going to be such and such and such? I was like, w- who part is it? And they told me who part it was. Was it your work wife that called uh, you? She called her my work wife. She's not my work wife. Thank now, Ms. Rockmore, do you have any other reason to believe he's cheating? Any non-Google reasons? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Since Robert... Since I felt like Robert had been cheating, I started making him use condoms. 30 condoms come in a box. I can account for four. Three of them we used, one of them I used because I was in a predicament to where I needed a rubber band. So I used one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. All right. I, I got to ask. <sighs> what kind of, I, I have to ask. You want to know, too. Don't act, do. like, don't act like you don't want to know, I like I'm the only know. one. You want to want to. I know. I want to know. OK. So give me permission to ask her. Go ahead. I got permission? You got permission. I can ask her? You go ahead. Miss Rockmore, <laughs> what kind of predicament does one find themselves in where you need to use a condom as a rubber band? Can I show you? Oh, no. oh <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. No, it's simple. Oh, no. OK. All right. All right. Oh, <laughs> And that's probably what happened to all the condoms. No. Yeah. You keep them right there, huh? No, I just stay prepared. <laughs> See, like a... Oh! Oh, it's a rubber band! So you put it, like, on your hair? Put it on my so, hair. So you just take out the... Uh, use the, the elastic part. <laughs> you... I mean to tell you. Ah. Uh, uh, OK. Are you well, guys learning knew? something? Because I'm learning something. I I'm too. learning something too. Yeah. Ron, did you know you can use condoms to for your hair? hair? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, box of 30, three, four were gone, right? Yes, ma'am. Three we used and one I used as a rubber band. What happened to the other 26? Well, uh, Your Honor, it wasn't 26 in the box. When I looked again, it was 20. Oh. All right. So six condoms are unaccounted for. Exactly. You don't know what happened to them. They Did weren't used with you. Mr. Abraham? Yes. We got six condoms unaccounted for. Do you have any kind of explanation? Did you use them in your hair? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Your Honor. Okay, uh, so we know you didn't use them in your I hair. Didn't use them in my Who hair. did you use the other six condoms with? I didn't use no condoms. The only condom I use is on her, Your Honor. Uh, and furthermore, I don't even like condoms. And she have a habit of when I'm at work going through my drawers, just fondling with everything. So put places, put things in place. I come in, I say, hey, what's that? Oh, I don't know. But you've been through my drawer. So you think she took the six condoms and did something with them? Yes, I can't keep nothing at home. Do you think one of your work wives needed a condom? If they did, I wasn't giving it to them. <laughs> Well, Mr. Cutler, I uh, think we have enough evidence. What we have here is the work wife. Right. That he's texting. We've got the GPS tracker over and over again. And then the missing condoms. Right. For all of these reasons, Ms. Rockmore yeah. believes that Mr. Abraham is cheating. And Ms. Rockmore, if you were to find out after all of these years together that Mr. Abraham is cheating, what's going to happen to this relationship? I'm outie. You out. Yes. So, love, everything is hanging on on what happens in this proceeding today. Well, to get to the bottom of all of this, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call a certified polygraph examiner, Kendall Scholl, to determine, is he cheating? Ron, please escort Mr. Scholl in. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I uh, spent almost 30 years with the FBI uh, in Washington, D.C. Spent my whole career there. Ended up chairing uh, the entire FBI's polygraph program. All right, well, let's get to the results. You asked Mr. Abraham, when you went to a hotel for a party, did you have physical sexual contact with anyone at that party? What was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that it was being truthful, Your Honor. (laughs) 
You stand there cool as a cucumber, Mr. Abraham. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, because I love this girl. I mean, I've been with her for 27 years. I, I did everything I could to try to please her. It's on her. Okay. You know, it's on her. All right. Mm -hmm. You also asked Mr. Abraham, other than what she knows about during your 27-year relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your girlfriend, Miss Rockmore? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined on this question that he was also being truthful. <laughs> All right, so the 27-year relationship continues. Yes, it does. All right, how does that make you feel, Ms. That Rockmore? That makes me feel wonderful, and then again, it makes me feel bad because I've been accusing him all this time. All right, so all what, we, what you gonna do from this point forward? What you got to I'm say a, what, to him? I apologize from the depths of my I, heart. I, I really apologize, and I, I love you. I have no you. problem with you, baby. I love you. You so see. I have no problem with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> The key is, from this point forward, you've got to let it go. <laughs> yes, she's accused you. It turns out you were right. You can't hold that over her head. Yeah. You know, you've got to oh, let no, it no, go, no, and you've got to stop accusing him, Ms. Rockmore. I will. Okay? okay don't be you. find out something else. Yeah. You, okay. you, wait a minute. You got, to find a, you got to find a new best friend online. And please. Yeah, because yeah, God and gave up my secret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, use your tracking powers for good. No, I... Okay? I, 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 I,